Okay, here we are on the GUA again. Let's say I've come out on that. I've got a flashing light, as I've shown you in earlier videos, on the ignition control here, but nothing is going on. There's no burner, fan, anything. Uh, the uh, combustion blower comes on, stays on, runs till the moon turns green but never does fire and I get a flashing light. Let's see if we can figure out what could cause that. Okay, here's my situation. Uh, I put the probes onto the gas valve terminals. That's these two yellow terminals or two yellow wires here. I could put it on the gas valve or I could put it on the ignition control. In this case, I put it on the ignition control. I'm in AC volts. Okay, I've started my inducer. Inducer's come up. Yes, I've shown power coming to the board. Should start its cycle. Now I got seven seconds that this uh, gas valve is going to be on. And I've put my terminals, my probes, right on the terminals for the gas valve. I can put it on the gas valve or not. Okay, there it is. We start it off. Okay, it dropped out. Now, did gas flow? There's no way to know whether gas, I had gas flow there. Uh, it didn't ignite. Uh, I, I can look in my little window down below. There's my little window. I can look in there, pretty hard to see, but you gotta look close. If my flame did not come on, and I had power to the gas valve. Okay, I've got a couple of issues here. Number one, the gas valve could have failed. Number two, you may not have any gas. I don't know how many times people called me up for service calls and the gas was off at the meter or somebody shut the gas cock off down by the unit or something like that. Make sure you got gas there. Now, if you're sure you have gas there, I'll, uh, on one of the earlier videos I was showing how to do uh, manifold pressure on it, you can take the plug out, the plug's right over here, put your manometer on it, and find out if you've got gas coming through. If you've got gas coming through, and it's not igniting for whatever reason, uh, then you're gonna have to look further there. Uh, but we've already checked out things like hot surface igniter and the like. So uh, this one would be a gas valve problem or a gas supply problem. If during that trial for ignition I did not get power out of this board here, then I get a board problem. Now there's trying again. and it's out. So I would have to say on this, I have either a gas supply problem or a uh, gas valve failure. Okay, I've done something a little different here. I've hooked up the ammeter on one of the leads right there to the gas valve. Now that's gonna tell me if I'm actually consuming power through the line. Now there we go, it's showing two tenths of an ohm or of an amp dropped out again. So I know that the gas valve solenoid is actually operating here. Sometimes this is the fastest way to do it. And it tells you more than the voltmeter. The voltmeter tells you if there's power going to the gas valve, but it doesn't tell you if the uh, the load or the solenoid inside the valve actually is drawing power. That will. So sometimes that's a quick way to check these things. Remember, only open for about anywhere from four to seven seconds, depending on uh, which unit. This one here is seven seconds. Okay, so much for uh, checking the gas valve.